Three months after the famous Israeli pharmaceutical company Teva surprised its investors with the CEO's resignation, it surprises them again with the highest profit rate in the third quarter of the year. In this quarter, the company's clean profit was $606 million, which are 27% growth. The income was lower than the predictions, which were supposed to reach 74%, but only reached $1,280,000,000. The accomplishments of this quarter made a complete change in the assessments of the entire year, and now, by the end of 2006, the company is expected to make a profit of $2 billion. These profits were made possible thanks to two medications, Zocor for cholesterol treatment and Zolo for depression and anxiety treatment. Teva's success comes from its ability to implement a clear standing business strategy and to predict variations that are in the market. Israel Makov will leave his CEO post in Teva at the first half of 2007. His resignation has many reasons. One of them is Teva chairman's decision to hire a younger CEO. Makov will be replaced by Shlomo Yanai, former CEO of the company Machteshi Magan. Yanai may be talented, but given the fact that he steps into a field he doesn't really specialize in, Yanai might face a real difficulty to keep the company as successful as it was in 2006. That's the main reason for more than 3% fall in Teva stocks in Wall Street.